My wife was writing a book about a British scientist named Dorothy Rinch, and uh, Marjorie found in the sub-basement of the Smith Science Center a box containing Dorothy Rinch's original lantern slides from the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I looked at these lantern slides and I thought, wow. <laughs> not only are these beautiful as objects, and not only do they contain very uh, advanced science for the time, uh, they were significant in the history of science. Uh, it's not often that you find something in your hand that says, do something with me. Um, so I stepped outside the studio, it was winter, pointed the camera to the ground, photographed, we have um, stone walkways and plants that grow along the walkways, um, and I photographed them from above. Went back into the studio and, and um, said to myself, what if, what if I combined some of my own photographs with the images contained in these lantern slides? And the first one worked beautifully. Of course, it took a lot of experimenting with layering and moving color, but it's, that's the first uh, model of protein structure offered to the scientific community. Uh, I believe it goes back to the 1930s Dorothy Rinch conceived of it and had the physicist, the Danish physicist Niels Bohr, constructed in his lab. And they photographed it. And it, it exists in the form of a lantern slide. But the glass, the lantern slide has two glass plates. And in this particular case, the glass was cracked. And there are several crack lines running through the glass. And, and those served as um, a part of the composition. So, and I collected hundreds of images as an image bank to pull from. And each one of these uh, is the result of testing dozens and dozens of images to find something that, uh, so the two, in some cases, three images together speak to each other in a way that forms a composition. It's very important that the science continue to come forward. I didn't want to obscure any of the scientific uh, notations and uh, drawings and photographs. And <clears throat> part of what I'm, I see myself doing here is bringing back her work, presenting it in a new form, uh, reworking it, but making it alive again. That is, it's um, an honor and a privilege to present this work at the APE, which is in many ways at the heart of the artistic downtown community um, and announce to the community that I have um, embraced something a little different and that I, um, I, I, you know, for decades I've been associated with a particular kind of photography and um, to be able to share that my growth and my expand, I, I consider it expanded thinking uh, with the art community is, is a real honor and a pleasure.